about this venue is that with more space means more setups, means things just run really efficiently. Like, yeah. I, honest, I was, like, kind of bugging out when I was clocking off of work today because, like, I get off of work at 4, and I'm like, okay, I got to work at, like, 7.30 tomorrow and all this stuff. And I'm just like, eh, maybe it's, like, going to be a little bit too late. But honestly, like, now I see Bracket, and like, I could probably commentate all the way to the end here. We got DLC. Speaking of Panda playing. I'm about to say, DLC, DLC matches? And DLC matches. And you see that I finally get to commentate. Right? I, I finally get to commentate some Aegis. Yeah, this man's playing. This man's playing uh, Meet and Pyra. Well, this is one of the characters that Panda did pick up uh, when they did release over the uh, over the break. And honestly, this yep. character is pretty. Like this is one of those characters where I saw how Pyra and Mithra operated. I'm like, all right, the minute. That offline comes back, they're gonna start making waves. And he's cut. It's, it's gonna cover some matches that you know, you know, personally or in general, villagers and like, or pandas and like. So it'll be, it'll be good. There you go, the scythe blade. I'm pretty sure that's not what the move is called, but I call it scythe blade because I see V Sav and I see. <laughs> I remember reflecting that as uh, Kazuya one time killed killed a uh, at 90. It's a it's a it's a good move though. Yeah. Um, wait, this match, I feel like, oh, oh, was waiting for that option. Oh, my God. It's, that, that thing probably shield pulled. Lingered pose. so long and also did so much shield damage. I just, like, first really had no other option but to drop shield there. Or try a parry, but that's really hard to parry. You got to be very frame perfect for that. You know. Side B coming in. It's oh, the back air. Sweet spot back air, too. That's going to be a, a very easy stock to take. Switch to uh, Pyro mid-air, tries to get um, some damage. I guess he's trying to catch him while he while Burst is recovering. Gets a uh, near out of shield. Oh, crosses over, nice, avoids the counter. He knows that it's only on one side. That's the that's, that's the drawback of it. But it's still a pretty, pretty powerful uh, counter multiplier when it uh, does work. Yeah. And Panda is definitely, you know, making sure he's getting safe nares, um, right around Burst. Taking advantage of Sephiroth's somewhat, you know, slow speed. But now as uh, he has first has wing, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. gotta watch out. But that oh, lingering hit, uh, the back hit of the down air actually. Down tilt nair. Up smash, catching that landing, and yeah, it's kind of had a really big lead. Only 97 percent on his uh, second, like, or oh, having two stocks left. I'm about to say honestly, like the one thing that I've noticed with pandas, uh, with pandas. Uh, Pirate Mithra is the minute that uh, I saw how uh, he was moving with this character. Yeah. I was like, okay, it's like all the all the neutral that he's gained from playing Villager all these years, yeah. it's transferred over to this character like really, really well. And that's the beauty of fighting it or like picking up second character in general. You play one character, and those habits and like good fundamentals will carry to the second character. It's like you know, it'll strengthen your counter picks. Because I think another part reason why Panda didn't go Villager, that might have seemed really bad for Villager against SO. Yeah, not too yeah. far off stage, exhausting all the jumps and all the FDs. That that is the one crux is that the recovery is definitely like, it's good, but you definitely can checkmate it at some point. I Would think you? if yeah, that's true. Uh, but I definitely think with uh, the Photon Edge or. Uh, Myth with side B. Probably didn't go for that. Maybe probably would have gotten countered by it. But good patience. Good, good patience there. Again, just seeing the counter come out, just shield it. And Mithra definitely has a lot of really fast options to deal with that. Ooh. Oh, oh. he got the air dodge. Still living. Got to watch out. Almost got hit by the back air. Yeah, power is pretty heavy. I thought she would die from that. Oh, my goodness. Again, the dash attack. Yeah, Panda, Panda's up for kill power, so those are up. Oh, oh no! Not I, like that. I think he was facing the left side. But he tried to ride up the stage, and it was, you know, he yeah. went to the left, and, and that just, happened. Yeah. That, that's the thing, that upbeat that doesn't really snap as well as you would think, so if you're facing the wrong way, it's pretty much lights out. Oh, yeah. Like, you hate to see that happen. Let's see where we're going to go to. Small battlefield. Maybe Panda's gonna let the the Pyramitha rock, or potentially. Yeah. 
Because he, he, it was last hit. I'm about to it say, was like, it, it wasn't, it wasn't a wash. It like, I know that I know that Panda's one that he gets off of secondaries if it is a wash. But th that was close. So was very close. sticking by his, I, I appreciate that he's sticking by his guns. And uh, now a small battlefield gets a little bit more survivability with the blast zones and gets kind of the same layout where you can play the neutral that was doing so well in the first game. Oh, yeah. And we see right here, like this, this kind of figure is definitely pretty good for um, Pyro and Mithra. Scythe Blade. And you see right here, like you said, with the fundamentals that carry over from Villager. Oh! I I was surprised that he didn't have a follow up after that. I think he tried to go for a footstool, because he was pretty close to try yeah. to do like a second jump. Yeah, because uh, I, I know that if you are close enough when you get somebody if, like fully into the Scythe Blade like that, you can follow up with a footstool. That was a clean parry. Didn't get a kill, but that's definitely put him in an advantage. Tries to get with the projectile to up B. Um, let's see, we got your Nair multi hits. First hit, block over. Oh, now he's trying to put Hand in the corner. Yeah, too close on that uh, aerial. And Panda was just able to punish that with up smash out of shield. Just like Probably throw. Oh, wanted a tech chase situation, but Burst like, nope, I'm not having any of that. He's also pretty low percentage, too. Probably at zero, you would have gotten the knockdown. All right, here we go. That that was that was the tech chase situation that Panda Bear originally wanted. Got some really good percentage on that. Down so fair. Left him in turns of percent now, but got wing. Got to watch out. Now switching over to Pyra. If I get that um. The independent woman damage. I'm about to say, like, that. honestly, that's what I've been noticing that the game plan has been and that a lot of uh, Aegis players have been doing is that whenever they get, they use Mithra when they're in the neutral, I'm so surprised that that did not kill. Oh, but I'm taking you down with me. Oh, oh. no, Sephiroth's recovery too good. But he's still in the lead, though, so it's not too bad. Yeah. But that was a good, that was, that was a, that good, was a good attempt. Yeah, that good was a good attempt. attempt to at least, like, make it a little bit harder for Burst. Oh, man. Okay, now first off stage. See what uh, Panda with uh, Pyra. Oh, down air. Yeah, that's the thing with down air is that at the ledge you gotta kind of respect that move because it just got a, it's got a big hitbox and it's also got a lingering hitbox too. Oh yeah, it's a side B, a side B, right? Yeah, that's a side B. Side B the, yeah, the side plate is a side yeah. B. Down air, still, because it sends him over to the other side, Sephiroth can DI that and live that pretty easily. I think it sets that up B, but um, most I hit boxes, especially when um, Sephiroth charges that move. Going for these counters. Both on is not connecting. Gets the grab, forward throw. throw. And now Burst, oh, tried to uh, B reverse that. That actually was kind of tricky. Yeah, because the last few frames of that move, you could definitely reverse it. Even without the without the B reverse. Oh, oh, and the forward air still yeah. has not taken this stock, and now Burst has the stock lead. And now he's trying to get uh, you know small damage onto on the panda. I like I like panda's uh, reaction there to the. Uh, oh. oh no! Down throw. I feel like a better option probably could have come off of that uh, punish of the dash attack. He's really trying to get this uh, counter. Oh my god! 188 mm -hmm. still living. There we go, finally. All right, we, we, we back. Last suck again. Just to uh, delay the, the jab combo, gentlemen. Up tilt. There we go. Up tilt, Nair. Down tilt, Nair. Uh-oh. Like, Panda's just got to worry about just winning neutral interactions and just keeping Burst off stage. Get back air. All right, now Burst has the, uh, the corner advantage. Nope. Another good neutral air. Oh, held on to the projectile for a little bit too long. Now Panda's in a good spot. Trying Scythe get, Blade. Trying to get his kill really early. Shield poke again, and he's, that's a, a clean, what, 30% damage off of that? The Flame Nova. Back oh, air. He was expecting your grab, but first crossed him up. Oh my. Ah! Grab, forward throw. Forward throw. He's got to watch it. This one edge guard could be the game. And Burst has a wing now. One wing. Good air dodge. Good F tilt. All right, let's see what Panda's going to do Panda's here. He's got to keep the ledge. If he gets one read off of this, then it's going to be lights out. Scythe Blade. Good catch on his uh, second ledge. He wants grab. to chase it. He's got to be careful about getting kicked by that. Uh, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. No. oh. Oh, my god. That was, that was really close. First with some of the most clutch plays.
that I have seen. That was very that, much. Oh my god. Versus versus doing well. Um, I I thought I thought Panda had that punish. I thought he was gonna um. That that last one. Beat. I thought I thought he was there. Yeah, I thought he was gonna, like down B because it shield poked him twice. That said, I think I think it was called. I I don't know the name of the move, but um. He was he was doing down B like and like catching his shield at the last few frames of the move. I feel like if he did that on his neutral get up, the active phase would have triggered and killed Burst and you know he was with the game. But. I just uh, that that was just such a close set at the end there. Oh yeah, really close. Man, I'm so glad that like this is <laughs> like I'm glad yeah. I'm like because like this game. While I don't have this as like my main played game. Like I've obviously invested in other stuff, but like this is the one game that I absolutely adore watching. Oh, this is this is so and fun! I'm to watch. so glad that I actually have. <laughs> I'm glad that we have the uh, the honor to actually like watch stuff again. So. All right.